welcome back. I am Karen and you are watching my channel Diamond Painting with Anxiety and I'm glad you stopped by. As you can see you're looking at Santa Claus, my Hua Can Santa Claus piece. You know I was thinking tonight lately if you're someone that's watch that watches my channel from time to time Lately I've been doing a lot of unboxings and framing videos because I have a lot of stuff to frame, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. But I just thought it was time to do a whip and chat. And I thought it was time to do a whip and chat with Santa. Um, this is a piece that I did my lucky draw, um, my lucky dip, if you will, to choose um, a couple of weeks back. Um, and it is a Hua Can piece. And the piece that I did prior to this was my Hua Can Flamingo. And it ended up being such a popping drill nightmare that I was a little bit afraid when I drew another Hua Can out of my box. So um, I decided to try something different. With the Hua Can piece, I did a seal as you go. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the comments section below. So this time I decided to try something different. I decided to do um, what I'd seen someone suggest in one of the Facebook groups. I think it was either uh, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray's or it might have been Diamond Painting Underground. But they suggested that you work from the center out. So that's what I did. I started right around here with Santa's mouth and I worked out. And as you can see, I pretty much have the middle done, which is Santa, which was the fun part. Um, when I originally started doing this and I was doing his mustache up here and his, you know, his, you know, the fur part up here, this is a really pink color. And as I'm putting that on, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know about this. I don't know if this is going to look right. And I talked it over with the famous Shanda Panda when she came over. And she suggested that maybe I, like, do every other one a lighter color. But I decided to just take the advice of DPers that have much more experience than I do and just trust the process. As I'm going, I'm realizing that because of the other dark colors around it, around you know, these colors, um, I don't know, somehow it just kind of works. I'm still a little puzzled by this red right here. But, you know, looking at it through the camera, I mean, it looks good. And I don't think I can know or judge until I'm completely done. As far as my working from the middle out, it seems to be working. Now, I will say that these drills seem to be in a little bit better shape than the last ones I did. Um, everything's not perfectly flat. It's definitely not an ever moment or, um, you know, DAC quality by any means. But um, it seems to be working. Now the jury's still out, quite frankly, because I won't know for sure until I get it all the way done. As you can see, I'm almost completely done with what I consider the middle. And then there will be the outside strips here, which are pretty much the dark background. I think it's it's meant to be a Christmas tree with some ornaments on it. So there's some ornaments and a lot of dark coloring behind him. I think that will further pull it together. Once I get all this middle part done, I don't know if it's going to start popping a lot, but I think it's going to be okay. I think even just to carry through the experiment, what I'm going to do is when I get this section done, which I have a few little missing drills here and there, you can see them. Those are not sparkles. Those are actually missing drills. I create my own confetti. We all know this. But as when I do get this done, I think even these outside strips here, I think I'm going to, you know, choose what I want to do. And I'm going to go around this way, and then around that way, and then around this way. And kind of just keep closing into it so that I'm truly working, you know, from the middle out all the way to my edge. And I'm going to see how it works out. I think this is going to be a really cool piece. It's been really fun. Do you see that little teddy bear? Isn't he cute? And it's, she's a little bit hard to see. I think this is intended to be a, a doll. 
Um, yeah, and you can't see her with this camera angle and lighting and all that kind of stuff. You can't see her very well at all. But there's a little doll that he's holding right here. So this has been really a lot of fun. Really, it's working up pretty quick, so I'm pretty happy. So, with all of that being said, grab your whip in progress and let's drop some drills. Hopefully on our canvas and not on the floor. So, let's see what happens. We never know with me. So, like I said, it's been, you know, quite a while since I've done a morning coffee or whip and chat. Um, and I just kind of miss doing them. Um, one of the reasons I haven't posted a morning coffee, <clears throat> which is usually, you know, basically sort of my weekly whip, whip and chat. Um, but one of the reasons I haven't posted one is because a few weeks back, um, I was placed on some new medications by my doctor. And um, the medications are helping me uh, to sleep at night somewhat. I'm sleeping a little bit better, but what I'm finding is I'm really falling uh, uh, soundly asleep, which is different for me because I usually, um, I've had a sleep study done and I don't even reach the, um, I stay in twilight sleep um, all night long. So I think I'm falling deeper into a sleep in the morning hours, but what I'm finding is I'm just not waking up early like, you know, has always been my habit, you know, for the last 25 years or something. So, um, you know, it's, it's kind of one of the, I sleep right through my alarm and it's kind of one of those things like this morning, I woke up at nine o'clock and needed to be out of the door by 9.15 at the very latest to make it to work on time. So that's been making it a little hard to do a morning coffee with Karen. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get one done this weekend, but we'll just have to see, see how that goes. Um, and then the other thing, you know, is I, I've just, I've just been really busy. So one of the things that I've been super busy with is um, sort of trying to organize. Um, I've been tearing my room apart. I've set up a new diamond painting area for myself, which for the most part, I think I'm liking better. Um, there are a couple of drawbacks, one of them being that I really like to be able to see out my window, which is right to my that way right to my right here um, and instead of facing the window now um, I'm facing a wall and um, the windows to my side so that that's kind of sad to me I can't see the big beautiful tree and the kids playing and all that stuff without turning my head you know and I you know I guess I could do that but um, so I'm not quite so sure about that. And then the other thing, when I got ready to, um, do this whip and chat tonight, I realized that it's going to, uh, it made, I had to come up with a new, um, filming setup based on the fact that I've moved everything around. And if I... <clears throat> go forward with what I'm planning, which I'm thinking that I'm going to put my very large TV that I never use into storage or even possibly give it to my daughter. I don't know if she's going to want to put it in one of the kids' rooms or something, but um, this very large TV either needs to go to storage or just go away. Um, get rid of a, a bookshelf that I have the TV sitting on and go ahead and put the two TV trays that I'm using right now to do my diamond painting on um, all the way up against the wall to save even more room in my room so that I just have more room to move around. Um, and then 
um, that would be in preparation for perhaps um, buying myself a very small um, drafting table type desk. I've seen them online for anywhere from $125 to $200. Um, so I'm thinking that that may be something I do and just push that all the way up against the, the wall. Then I will definitely have to come up with a new way of, of being able to film my videos, but you know, that might be a small price to pay. So I've been doing that. I've been organizing my diamond painting supplies and materials. Um, I did order a full set of all the DMC numbers. What is it, like 477 or something? Um, I actually ordered two sets. Um, I got it when Ella had found that store. I think it, oh my gosh, it's been so long ago. It might have been the Hankin store um, where she had found that store that kind of gave people a special discount and um, the packages come in 200 um, diamond size packages. So, you know, it's no joke that I drop and lose a lot of drills and I just... I think it's partially because this area that I'm working in is so small and just, I just rush and I'm just, just a bit klutzy. So, um, I felt like 200 of any one color wouldn't be quite enough. And I, you know, they were, tw the sets were $20 a piece. So I bought two. So now I have all of those diamonds that need to be put into their, their, um, permanent storage solution home and so I've been working on that a little bit just really slowly I'm really glad I bought those spare diamonds because like I said I have a lot of unfortunate events that happen in my diamond painting adventures and I've had to get into them several times now this painting in particular I don't think they, you know, Hulikan says that they always give you, um, I don't know, what is it, 20% more? Um, but I actually have not um, spilled any diamonds or had much of a problem with this particular canvas um, for whatever reason. I don't, that I remember. You know, come to think of it, I might have spilled one color. I don't know. I just, I can't remember right now. Anyway, I did run out of one color. And um, so I had to dip into my stash for that. I had to dip into my stash for the Huacan Flamingo. I definitely spilled some diamonds on that one. So, you know, for me... It's just worth the peace of mind to know that, um, you know, I have a few. And then if my diamonds are in good shape, I will save those and uh, um, put them into my, into my extra drill storage too. Um, but if they aren't like the Huacan Flamingo, I just threw those away. I meant to show this in my final thoughts video, but I didn't. So I may do another little video with um, what I actually did with some of those garbage drills and with some of them. Um, I actually have the package that has the garbage in it. Um, it will end up in the regular round trash can soon, but... Um, I have those to show and kind of what I did with them besides that. So I tried to put a few of them to good use, but they need to go straight into our recycling. You know, I got to thinking about it, and I'm not sure if these are recyclable or not, but I'm definitely going to throw them into the recycling on the off chance that they might be. So... I've been working on that and I've been getting my paintings organized. 
Um, as I said earlier, I've been doing a lot of framing videos, and one of the reasons for that is, is I have a lot of pieces that I need to either frame or make some kind of decision about. Um, one of the things that I do is I, when I'm out and I see a good deal on a frame and I think it might work for something, I will just buy the frame and bring it home. And so, but I mean, I just literally do not have room for these frames. Um, I'm thinking about um, putting a bunch of command strips on my walls and just hanging them as sort of an unframed gallery type thing. And then eventually they will probably, you know, have diamond paintings um, placed in them. And they'll either remain here with me or at this house or, you know, be given to someone else. So I think that's one thing that I may do this weekend to get those frames out of the box that they're sitting in over here by the end of my bed and just, you know, up and out of my way. When you live in a very small environment like this, you really start to learn to use the vertical space. Um, because, um, when you're, the area surrounding you is small, you can't, can't do everything on the horizontal, if you know what I mean. So you get pretty creative with some stuff like that. So that's one, one of the reasons why I've been, do, but that is one of the reasons why I've been doing so many of the framing videos. And you're probably, to be quite honest, going to see a few more coming up really soon. I also have a couple of pieces for a resident that I want to get framed as soon as I can. So you'll probably see that video very soon. So I've been working on that. Um, I think I have all of the paintings that I've had come in early uh, recently. I think they're all unboxed. I don't think I have any more paintings to unbox. So, and I'm not really planning on ordering anything right away, although that could change. Um, I do have, however, some accessories and some items that I've purchased from other creators that I want to do <clears throat> an unboxing or an opening video with and show to you. So that will probably be coming soon, too. So let's see, what else have I been up to? Yeah, like I said, just, I don't know, it's almost like a spring cleaning kind of vibe in my life right now. And just really wanting to get myself organized. And one of the other projects that I plan on trying to work on real soon is with the resident paintings that I'm holding in my stash for them. I want to um, pre-kit those up. Because when we're all out there diamond painting on a Friday night and they choose a painting and they're all excited and I'm all excited and, you know, we're working on the diamond painting path because that's what we do on Friday nights to stop. And I don't want to just hand it to them, not kit it up because, you know, they don't have the benefit that I had when I first started diamond painting that before my painting even arrived um, from Paint with Diamonds. Uh, boy, I'd never do that again, but anyway. Um, before my painting even arrived, I'd watched a bazillion videos on uh, kitting things up and, you know, the whole process. So they, you know, and they don't even have that benefit. Most of them when I show them diamond painting, they've never even, they don't, they have never even heard of it before. So I want to be able to give that, give it to them, you know, just all ready to go. And so what normally ends up happening is I end up sitting there in the moment, you know, trying to get that kitted up and ready for them. And it's just a little bit chaotic. So one of my projects that I want to work on very soon is, um, you know, kidding those up. And I thought maybe with that and maybe with my um, spare drill storage that I would do um, 
sort of a work with me type of video and um, kind of like a whip and chat where I was just kind of working away and just kind of rambling like I am now. So that's one thing I've been thinking of. And then, you know, other than that, just like everybody, super busy with work and, you know, working 40 hours a week on my day job and, you know, usually around six to eight here at at the shelter um, throughout the week and over the weekend. And, um, you know, that's pretty busy. The I, ch I do the, like, security for the church next door um, seven nights a week. So that only takes, like, ten minutes. But still, it's, you know, another thing that I need to do in my day. So all of that's a lot. And then just spending a lot of time with my daughter and grandkids. Um, that's the entire reason why I moved to California in the first place. Otherwise, you know, if she wasn't down here with four of my seven grandkids, I'm very certain that I would probably still be in Washington where I have, you know, lived all my life and have, you know, my brother and my sister and another brother and nieces and nephews and, you know, just a lot of friends. But, you know, at the end of the day, being with family is one of the most important things that we can do, I believe. So that's uh, that's what brought me here, and I'm sure will keep me here because my daughter won't be going anywhere. And uh, my son that's in the military, I love him. He has three kids, as I've probably told you before, but and I'd love to be with them as well. <clears throat> However, I can't really imagine... Um, following my son around the the country every four years or whatever it ends up being if uh, he should get restationed which with the military can happen from time to time okay let's see I need to look for another symbol hold on Okay, number 19, which is color 814. 19, where are you? Where are you, 19? Oh, there we go. So I've only got a few of those, so I will probably go right from my container, maybe. Sometimes it's a little easier than others. It's actually easy, easiest to stab out of these, I think, when the container's not very full. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Not while I'm trying to whip and chat. We'll get too distracted and I'll probably get all quiet and you'll be bored. and Yeah, it just won't be a good thing. So, this is a nice, like, burgundy red color. One of my favorite colors in the world. That and greens are my favorites. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, so far I'm pretty pleased with the way this one's coming out. Um, I want to, it's got sort of a, you know, antique portrait feel to me. So I really want to find an ornate gold frame um, to put this in. So I think that'll really set it off. And then as I said in my video where I pull, where I unbox this and I pulled this out, then I will give my, my daughter a choice of whether or not she would like to have that as part of her Christmas decor or whether she wants to pass, in which case um, I will get, you know, give this one to the shelter and do a different piece for her. Or if she chooses it, I will do a different piece for here at the shelter. So everybody will get one. It'll all be good. Yeah, so I think at that point, or at that point, at this point, I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm not sure how long this video has been. Um, looks like maybe about 20 minutes. Looks like we've been going for about 20 minutes. So not an extremely long whip and chat, but like I said, um, has been a busy 
work week already and it's only Tuesday. I have to go to work early tomorrow. I have a staff meeting. Still got to go check the church and, you know, just all that normal stuff. So I'm going to wrap this up. So Santa, I just remember, you better watch out because Santa's watching you. That's kind of creepy. Well, you know what I mean. So just be good because he's making a list and he's checking it twice. Isn't he cute though? Okay, I think I kind of like the way this one's turning out. Pink and all. And maybe the, the red here by his nose. I don't know. Maybe it's just supposed to be like that. But yeah, his hand looks really good. So let's give him a little bit of a roll before we put him away. And that's it. So if you are new to my channel, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll know whenever I do one of these whipping chats or a framing video or an unboxing or whatever it might be. If you're someone who is a regular, thanks for stopping back by. I'm glad you joined me. And thanks for all you do to support my channel. And I will see you real soon in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.